हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जी बी पंथ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर उत्तराखंड इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द रीजन वाई देर इज नाइट्रोजन डिफिशेंसी इन लाइट टेक्स्चर्ड सॉइल सो इन केस ऑफ लाइट टेक्स्चर सॉइल मीन्स सैंडी सॉइल नाइट्रोजन डिफिशेंसी इज वेरी कॉमन सो वेन एवर वी ग्रो द क्रॉप वेदर इट इज सीरियल क्रॉप और एनी अदर क्रॉप नाइट्रोजन डिफिशेंसी सिम्टम्स अपियर and we have to give special care a special attention on nitrogen management so how to overcome this problem and why there is so prob- uh, deficiency or uh, this problem of uh, nitrogen deficiency particularly in light textured soil so first of all we should know what is light textured soil so when we talk about the texture so there may be a heavy textured soil or light textured soil or medium textured soil so here light uh, means uh, when we use any plow or any harrow to what is the force uh, which is offered by the soil that is uh, measured or uh, we can say on this uh, basis we can categorize the soil as a uh, heavy textured soil or medium textured soil actually textured is related with the uh, relative proportion of sand silt clay to textured kya hota hai kisi soil mein sand silt clay ka kya proportion hai uske base pe textured hota hai if there is a more uh, proportion of sand so when we use any plow or any machine then the resistance uh, offered by the soil is less while in case of uh, it is heavy textured soil means clay content is high then we use any harrow plow any implement then uh, the resistance offered by soil is very high so that's why these soils are called heavy uh, textured soil okay so in case of light textured soil actually this light textured soils are actually sandy soil sandy soil means it doesn't mean that it doesn't uh, have any uh, clay or silt proportion it also has silt and clay proportion but sand proportion is more sand proportion or sand percentage is very high in case of this light textured soil and silt and clay proportion is very less silt proportion and clay is less low proportion to so, sandy soil mein aisa nahi hai ki kewal sand hogi silt to clay bhi hoga lekin uska proportion kya hoga bahut कम होगा सो इन केस ऑफ लाइट टेक्सचर सॉइल सैंड प्रपोर्शन इज मोर एंड इन केस ऑफ सैंड एंड दिस सैंड पार्टिकल्स आर लार्ज पार्टिकल्स 0.22 0.02 मिलीमीटर सो दिस इज द कैटेगराइजेशन ऑफ क्ले सिल्ट एंड सैंड सो दीज आर द लार्ज पार्टिकल्स एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस लार्ज पार्टिकल्स द माइक्रोपोर्स एक्चुअली दिस द स्पेस दिस इज द माइक्रोपोर माइक्रोपोर आर मोर सो इफ सॉइल वी सी द सॉइल एग्रीगेशन लाइक दैट like that so this is the aggregation and in in this aggregation uh, some are micropores and some are micropores so micropores are more and micropores are very less and micropores are more so it means the water retention capacity is very low so that's why when there is a irrigation और रेनफॉल वाटर परकुलेट वाटर परकुलेट थ्रू द माइक्रोपोर्स लाइक दैट लाइक दैट एंड माइक्रोपोर्स आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर वाटर रिटेंशन सो वाटर इज रिटेन इन सॉइल इन माइक्रोपोर्स बाय कैपलरी एक्शन सो इन केस ऑफ माइक्रोपोर्स कैपलरी ए राइस और कैपलरी एक्शन इज लो देर इज वी कैन से नो कैपलरी एक्शन so water is not retained so percolation is there so this is the problem with the sandy soil light textured soil that micropores are more so there is a rainfall or irrigation water percolate and if uh, it is a uh, nitrate ions or ammonium ions are present then this with this percolation nitrate and ammonium ion are leaching leach down so there is a leaching so leaching of nitrate and ammonium ion in light textured soil because water percolates so this problem is severe when there is a heavy rainfall or irrigation so jab bhi rainfall hoga irrigation hogi to ye micropores mein water retain nahi kar pata hai micropores mein retain karta hai to water percolation hoga and with this percolate uh, percolating water nitrate and ammonium is through mineralization or by fertilizer or by any other source 
lays down and they lays down deep percolation is there and they move away from the root zone and the plants which are growing in the soil suffer from the nitrogen deficiency so this is the major factor that there is high proportion of macropores another factor is that in case of sand cec cation exchange capacity is low cation exchange capacity means it is decided by the negative charges on the soil particles if negative charges are more then it can soil can hold more cations so cec cation exchange capacity is high if soil has more negative charges and in this sand silt clay the negative charges are very less in case of sand and clay content has more or clay particles has more negative charge so clay soil have more cc more cation exchange capacity means clay soil have more capacity to hold the cations while in case of uh, uh, this sandy soil the cc is very less so to hold uh, the capacity to hold the cation is very less so uh, suppose these are the negative charge very less negative charge and this negative charge hold the calcium they hold the calcium magnesium uh, potassium ammonium and any other cation so because of this uh, less cc the ammonium which is present on soil is very less so soil have very low capacity to hold ammonium so ammonium easily come into the soil and percolate so this is the problem with the ammonium ion because of cc is very less so it is not uh, uh, hold by the sand particles so sand particle ki cation exchange capacity kam hoti hai kyunki usme negative charges kam hote hain and because of this low cc uh, particle sand particle cannot attract more attract the ammonium ion ammonium ion is cation so that's why it come into the soil solution and percolation is there because more macropore so it percolate so this is the another problem with the ammonium so first because of macropores there is a more percolation more leaching secondly soil is not able to hold the ammonium in good quantity it has capacity but capacity is very less to so, sand mein cations ko hold karne ki capacity bahut kam hoti hai hum ye to nahi keh sakte ki zero hoti hai kyunki usme negative charges hain there is a capacity to hold the cation because of presence of negative ion but this negative ions are very less so that's why capacity to hold the calcium magnesium so not only ammonium is leased down potassium is also leased calcium is also leased down magnesium also leased down so this is the problem that light textured soil also show deficiency of potassium calcium magnesium not only the nitrogen but the problem with the nitrogen is more because nitrate also leased down with the percolating water so nitrate also remain uh, in uh, soil solution macropores are more suppose it is micropores so water will be retained into the soil it will not percolate so it will remain in the soil solution suppose it is heavy textured soil clay content is more cc is high so ammonium will remain into the soil then there is no percolation so nitrate will also remain in soil solution and will not percolate so both will be available to the plant and there will be no deficiency but in case of sandy soil problem is that more percolation so nitrate we, we are providing the nitrate or ammonium through fertilizer they are percolating then the capacity to hold ammonium and very less so there is more leaching of nitrate and ammonium so there are two important factor number one factor is the a uh, more proportion of macropore and number second factor is low cc which is responsible for leaching of nitrate and ammonium ion so this is the problem and how we can overcome this problem is problem hum kaise kam kare if we check the leaching if leaching is uh, checked percolation is checked then uh, there will be more uh, availability of this ammonium and nitrate in the soil and the plant root will absorb but we cannot change the texture economically on large scale texture cannot be changed so it is important thing ki kisi bhi soil ka texture economically hum change nahi kar sakte kisi gamle mein hum mitti rakhe to usme change kar sakte hain sand mila do gobar mila do ya har se clay mila do dusri jagah ki mitti la ke mila do but on a large area 1 acre 2 acre or hectare texture cannot be changed the relative proportion of sand silt clay cannot be changed so texture cannot be changed if texture cannot be changed how we can prevent the leaching the वे टू ओवरकम इज दैट एट द ऑर्गेनिक मैटर सो अप्लाई ऑर्गेनिक मैटर काउ डंग कंपोस्ट एट्सेट्रा और क्रॉप रेजिड्यू रेगुलर इंटरवल सो दैट ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इज प्रेजेंट सो फिर ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इज प्रेजेंट ऑर्गेनिक मैटर एज हाई सी सी सो इट दिस ऑर्गेटर विल होल्ड दी अमोनियम आयन एंड इट रिड्यूजेज द माइक्रोपोर्स एंड इंक्रीजेज द माइक्रोपोर्स सो परकुलेशन विल बी लेस सो द थिंग टू 
रिड्यूज द लीचिंग इज एड ऑर्गेमेटर तो ऐसी सॉइल में ऑर्गेमेटर मिला दीजिए तो ऑर्गेमेटर की सी सी क्या होती है हाई होती है तो अमोनियम को होल्ड करके रखेगी दूसरा माइक्रोपोर का जो प्रपोर्शन उसको कम करेगा ऑर्गेनिक मैटर माइक्रोपोर्स पड़ेंगे तो वाटर होल्डिंग कैपेसिटी बढ़ जाएगी तो उससे क्या होगा परकोलेशन कम होगा तो लीचिंग कम होगी तो उससे जो है नाइट्रेट का लीचिंग भी कम होगी और अमोनियम लीचिंग भी रिड्यूज होगी सो दिस इज द वे वाई एडिंग द ऑर्गेनिक मैटर वी कैन रिड्यूज द लीचिंग बिकॉज इट इंक्रीज द सी सी एंड रिड्यूज द प्रपोर्शन ऑफ माइक्रोपोर्स सेकेंड इज दैट इफ यू आर अपलाइंग द फर्टिलाइजर्स नाइट्रोज फर्टिलाइजर फॉर एग्जाम्पल यूरिया तो वी शुड अप्लाई यूरिया नॉट इन टू और थ्री टाइम्स वी शुड अप्लाई इन मोर नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स इफ यू आर अपलाइंग सपोज फोर्टी के जी यूरिया देन देर इज अ मोर नाइट्रेट नाइट्रेट एंड एव परकुलेट सो इन सच सॉइल वी शुड गिव मोर स्प्लिट ऑफ यूरिया इन थ्री टू फोर टाइम्स और फाइव टाइम्स एंड लेस क्वान्टिटी ऑफ यूरिया एट अ रेगुलर इंटरवल सो नंबर ऑफ स्प्लिट शुड बी इंक्रीज इफ वी आर अप्लाइंग ओनली स्मॉल क्वान्टिटी सो दैन देर विल बी लेस लॉस and plant can absorb if suppose we are applying the huge quantity at one time or two time then is more concentration and with the percolating water uh, it will leach down so more number of uh, split application so this is the way not in light textured soil in other soil also we should apply urea three or four times so nitrogen fertilizer should not be given one or two time otherwise there is a loss so this is the way number one is add or any matter number two is split application third one is to uh, not give the heavy uh, irrigation light irrigation because if we give the irrigation heavy irrigation so water will percolate in case of heavy irrigation suppose you are giving 6 cm water or 7 cm 10 cm so soil cannot hold the water and it will percolate so after the urea fertilizer application we should not give the heavy irrigation if there is a heavy irrigation definitely there will be percolation so this is the way how we can reduce the leaching so this these are the agronomic way how we can reduce the leaching so texture cannot be changed but we can reduce uh, this leaching by uh, regulating the irrigation by adding the organic matter and the split application of uh, nitrogenous fertilizer so in this way uh, we can increase the nitrogen availability to the plant so if we are not suppose uh, adding organic matter and there is heavy uh, irrigation or rainfall definitely nitrogen will leach down we are applying the uh, nitrogen through dap or npk or urea or whatever source is there so it will leach down and there will be no availability in the root zone so definitely plant will suffer from nitrogen deficiency so this is the reason that why nitrogen deficiency is common in light textured soil so there are two major factor number one is high proportion of macropores because of more sand content which favor the leaching number 2 is poor cc very less cc because sandy soil have very less negative charge so to hold the ammonium uh, capacity to hold the ammonium is very less so these are the two important factor which are responsible for nitrogen deficiency thank you very much